Well, police broke up a nationwide catalytic converter theft ring with ties to New Jersey. It is a big problem with some 65,000 thefts reported in the U.S. last year. Today, cars were seized in Holmdale, where prosecutors say a company specialized in extracting precious metals from catalytic converters from stolen cars. The material was then sold to refineries. For Zabitis News reporter Dola Miles. This Ferrari is one of several luxury cars seized from this $1.7 million home Wednesday. It's where federal agents say DG Auto LLC is based, now accused of making millions on stolen catalytic converters for the last three years in a scheme with an LLC based in Sacramento. Both companies now named in this 40 count indictment unsealed today, which outlines in great detail a number of charges, including conspiracy to transport stolen property and conspiracy to launch money. This is highly unusual for this many cars to be out in this cul-de-sac and specifically on, on this street here. These are nine people named in one of two indictments unsealed today. The suspects from New Jersey and California. Investigators say the real money came from removing the precious metals that come from the catalytic converters, which federal agents say can hold a higher value than gold. The process called decanning, federal agents say was performed by DG Auto at its recycling locations in Freehold, Wall Township, and Wrightstown. I didn't really realize police were here, and um, now I, I know that the FBI is here and supposedly what's going on. And federal agents say DG Auto was so bold, they created this pricing app to incentivize thieves and advertised on Facebook they would pay for shipping. In all, 21 people have been arrested in this nationwide theft ring, and today seizures took place in nine different states.